Yes. You may yes. not have any value in it. In the end. Yes. Let Let me bring you up to speed, everyone. Uh, it's Eastern America here, and please subscribe, please like, please share, and hit that notification button. We're talking today about electric, the electric plan uh, President Joe Biden has in, in mind where the entire United States of America uh, goes uh, electric. And I have some thoughts. Uh, we, we know about this uh, cold weather system uh, that is normally up in the northern hemisphere and and is now in the southern hemisphere and is affecting Texas, the state of Texas that has run out of electricity. Uh, it's been several days. Uh, apparently, they had windmills, wind turbine type uh, electric generating windmills, and they froze and they're not generating any electricity. And I'm sure there's more to their power plant than just windmills. But bottom line is there's just no electricity in Texas, right? Uh, so anyway, I, I want to talk about a few things because I am a, a former uh, regular active army soldier and a military man. And um, I'm concerned uh, about an all-electric idea. If you remember the 1980s, uh, there was a lot of talk about electromagnetic pulses. If, if you don't know what an electromagnetic pulse is, it's a, it's a it's a device that takes out all the electricity, the grids. Uh, uh, hypothetically speaking, electric vehicles would stop. Uh, so I'm just saying there, there's a problem here. There's a disconnect on on the future of an all-electric society, uh, if it's all-electric vehicles, uh, first of all, if, if um, and the priority seems to be military vehicles. That this really alarms me because if the United States Army, the Marine Corps, every other military branch of service, our national defense were to be on electrical vehicles and then a, a electrical magnetic pulse type of weapon from the adversary was launched and took out all the vehicles and all the electricity would stop working and the vehicles couldn't run. You know, I myself, I have a hybrid, I have a Prius and it's a hybrid, it's a gas electric vehicle and it has a large battery and what it does, it toggles from gas to electric, it gets 51 miles to the gallon that vehicle really saved me back when Hurricane Matthew came and a tree came down on my house and, and all the electricity was out. And it was nearly two weeks before the power was restored. And I actually lived in my Prius. It, it, I can't remember whether it was cold weather or warm weather, but I had climate control with the air conditioning unit and the heating and I was comfortable. I slept in my Prius. You know, you can drop the seats down in the back and you can lay out and you can watch videos. And I even have some custom plugs in there, but it was gas electric. And even the gas, because the electric would kick in and the gas would toggle in, the gas tank itself, it, it was already full when I, when I started living in it for those two weeks. And I, I don't even think I was down near a quarter of a tank, you know. I, even at idling, you know, while it was parked. So that was a lifesaver. So what I'm trying to say is it, I don't think it's a great idea for us to be 100% electric focused. We need to have contingencies, some other forms mixed in, like a hybrid plan for being green and, and climate conscious. It, it can't just be 100% electric. Uh, charging stations, you know, if you've got to wait two hours to charge your car or whatever and and you've got everybody's got an electric vehicle uh it, it seems almost nearly impossible to get all these cars charged while they're on the roads on the interstates whatever so um i am asking you to think about that as we, as we progress through the coming days and months and years uh whether or not this is a great plan i would love to see your comments in the comment section and find out how you feel about this so
Please, again, please subscribe, please like, please share, and hit that notification button. And it's Eastern America here. And uh, our next video, I'm thinking we're going to show you how to get on a treadmill and drink a cup of coffee without spilling a drop. I'm going to show you my technique soon. Okay. Eastern America here. Please subscribe, please like, please share, and hit that notification button. And we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye.